Hi class, this is the third part of our post lab and today we're going to talk about fungi and as you all know, as you all know that fungi are important to humans in variety of ways and of course there are microscopic as well as uh, macroscopic uh, fungi and uh, a lot of fungi of course they have medical relevance and some of them uh, can be uh, of course uh, pathogenic and some pathogenic fungi are opportunistic also it means that um, they mainly cause infection when the host immune defense are compromised or weak so usually they do not cause any harm as long as um, your immune system is uh, strong. So um, take note under uh, or on agar plate, sometimes it's the fung fung fungi, fungi colony. They are kind of um, very different compared to um, bacteria. Okay. Sometimes they produce mycelia and spores, and but sometimes some fungi on agar plates they are also difficult to uh, distinguish uh, between bacteria. Their colonies are quite difficult to distinguish to bacteria, so we need to do gram staining. Okay. And after gram staining, of course, fungi or yeast, uh, they are kind of bigger compared to bacteria. And of course, they have very different morphology compared to bacteria. So uh, here we have the most common uh, fungi that produce uh, antibiotic. Of course, we have the antibiotic penicillin which is actually produced by a fungus uh, uh, penicillium, okay? So this is also uh, fungi, but uh, take note under, uh, on agar plates, um, on agar plate, it looked like a bacterial colony, but after uh, staining, you can see that this is uh, like, uh, yeast, so Candida albican is a yeast, so this is a um, culture of uh, Candida albican. And take note, again, yeast are uh, bigger than uh, bacteria. Okay, And sometimes you can see this uh, formation, like this structure or uh, like the budding of the yeast okay and uh, another important um, part another important part of course um, we have the hypae so what are these so fungi have of course a well-defined characteristic and most multicellular fungi uh, they uh, commonly called molds uh, they are made of of this uh, filament or we call it hypae and when the hypae uh, kind of tangled form a tangled network uh, of course we have mycelia and um, this mycelia can sometimes form a body or the fleshy part of the fungi those are usually the um, macroscopic uh, fungi okay and of course hype um, it can be um, divided like separated like the cells could be separated from one another and like the content or the um, what's this the nucleus and the uh, cytoplasm some um, of um of this cell is kind of separated to another cell by what we call septate 
um, so therefore or septa so we have here uh, septate high pain if it's if the cytoplasm is kind of continuous uh, of course we have none septate high pain or sometimes you call it coenocytic and sometimes the incomplete um, separation of uh, dividing yeast cell uh, forms this what we call pseudo hyphae. Okay. Okay. So let let's uh, examine hyphae. Okay. So the whole thing is mycelia. Like if there is a network. If hyphae are interconnected to each other, we call it mycelia. And this, of course, septate hyphae. And inside, we have the cytoplasm and, of course, uh, the nucleus. So this is the nucleus. Of course, we have the cell wall. Under the cell wall, we have the plasma membrane. And look at the septa. Septa are a type of internal cross walls. And take note, um, septa have this uh, pore opening. So there are small pores that allows, uh, of course, movement of um, or this continu continuum of the cytoplasm. So, pwedeng magpalitan ng mga bagay-bagay inside because of the septa has a pore okay and take note um of course there are different organelles so number seven nucleus you have mitochondria and at the tip of uh the hyphae we have this um like granulated um organelle intracellular organelle which is associated for the growth of the teeth and we call it the spitzen corpor. I don't know if I pronounce it right but um, later I will discuss what is spitzen corpor. And um, so this one you like uh, cloudy thing like cottony thing of course these are um the mycelia okay of the our fungi and of course mycelia is made of of hyphae so hyphae is like the building block of uh, mycelia okay so what about the spore okay so we have different kind of spores and one of that we have the artroconidia so a spore that is formed from a high pay by fragmentation and uh, this is a uh, microscopic and uh, microscopically the mature uh, this is the mature um, as arthroconidia okay so the mature arthroconidia usually it appears like a uh, square rectangular or barrel in shape and these are considered immature so in this picture these are uh, mostly matured um uh what's this art are artoconidia okay artoconidia and yeah so these are matured artoconidia and uh, so the spores are formed again don't forget by um, fragmentation okay of the hyphae and uh, these spores are actually um, asexual and generally they are not as durable and environmentally persistent compared to uh, endospore um yeah so 
Artocornigia, um, of course, we have here the uh, mold um, called, uh, I forgot this term, this one, coccidioides. Okay. So these molds are actually, or uh, fungi, actually found um, in United States, yeah. Sometimes this um, spore, uh, of course, it's part of the uh, environment, usually as a soil. And then sometimes the spore, depending may inhale and the spores uh, um, could develop, like the parasitic spore could develop and into, of course, our body, like lung, okay? And yeah, so take note, um, some fungi, they are, they are dimorphic. So it means uh, can, they can exist in um, both bold and yeast form, okay? So what happened is when the environment had environment is not favorable so when there is change in temperature so sometimes the fungi could uh, undergo some changes and uh, yeah and sometimes uh, when during a change in temperature uh, and then they form a dimorphism um, we call it uh, thermally dimorphic uh, fungi. Okay. So the example, of course, we have uh, here the arthroconidia. Um, so arthroconidia usually it's have sapro saprobic life cycle. So it means uh, this fungi usually acts as a the composer so it just uh, digests um, dead and decaying wood leaves uh, anything found uh, as a soil okay and of course uh, fungi in order to digest those um, decaying matter they secrete um, enzyme uh, to break it down and yeah but sometimes, um, uh, accidentally, uh, we could inhale some of the spores and, uh, yeah, some of the arthroconidia uh, are inhaled and the arthroconidia inside our body could uh, undergo uh, some changes like this parasitic life cycle, okay? so. This uh, pulmonary infection is due to coccidio, uh, coccidio idiomycosis. Okay, this one, coccidio idio, uh, so difficult to pronounce. Coccidio idiomycosis. Okay, and uh, um, so uh, again, so we have here the yeast uh, phase uh, with infection and in this picture uh, this is the spirule and of course inside the spirule see that thing um, these are the endospores okay so this is another spear and inside a spirule and then um, inside of course the endospore and take note this is uh, your lung tissue okay so it's quite scary okay another thing we need to define the difference between uh, blastospore, spore pseudo hype and true hype okay so blasto uh, spore um it's a fungal cell produced by budding, so sometimes in 
yung obvious yung budding of the yeast we call it the blastospore um and we also have another um spore that uh, develop intercalary or within the hypae or terminal part of the hypae and and we call it um chlamydoconidia okay and yeah pseudospore or uh, pseudohypae i already explained this and later i'll show again and uh, this is uh, the true hypae okay so this is chlamydospore um again chlamydos form this is form could be within the hypae or form like at the terminal part and uh, so chlamydia albicans and chlamydia dubliniensis you can uh, if you see this uh, structure this is uh, chlamydia spore and chlamydia spore is um is a method of producing uh, substantial resting spore very quickly okay and uh, so let's identify the parts so what do you think of letter a so what kind of spore is this so here a we have the uh high high pay and of course we have here like something that buds off the hypae and of course the one that buds off the hypae that is our uh, blastospore okay so this one also blastospore so we have the vestigial spore in the basidium and uh, here let us see um this uh, spherical structure uh, this is a chlamydos uh, spore and again it could be within the hypae or terminal so therefore this is also a, a chlamydo chlamydospore okay so what about uh, letter c so letter C is a uh, chlamydos four, okay, very good. And this one is the hypae. As you can see, uh, the structure of this hypae is quite strange because this hypae undergo lysis, okay, process. So bakat naglyse to allow the release of the chlamydos spore, okay. And this one, of course, um, like buds out. So we have the um, blastospore, of course. And take note, uh, here is a chlamydo, uh, chlamydospore, and then like emerge from um, hypae. So this is uh, chlamydospore, and then may na grow na hypae from. Chlamydospore. Okay.